Hello everybody and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're going to be checking out something called Burn Band by developer Tom Vanden Bugart. Uh, this is a developer that I'm quite fond of and I actually covered a number of his games in the past in prior videos, namely Westreen, Bird Snapper, and A Cow Must Not Smoke. Uh, he definitely does some strange and sort of off the rails, interesting, just unique stuff and that's totally what I'm in for for this channel. So uh, that's kind of what we got today. It's a first person exploration game. We're going to be playing as an alien looking through a very cool futuristic city filled with other aliens and interesting things to look at and just some really cool low-res effects and just in general like really good presentation i only played this for about two minutes or so to just get the atmosphere and uh, i think you guys are really gonna like it so let's walk around and have a bit of a look shall we so we spawn in some sort of a little room here uh, i don't know if this is like my my residence maybe i'm staying here maybe i've just been put here for a moment it doesn't seem like there's much going on in this room so if i was to wait here for more than a few minutes i think i'd be a little upset i guess there's these sort of like slanted benches that would be the worst right sit down in this waiting room only the benches are slanted so if you try to sit you'll fall off them that'd be very frustrating so let's walk out oh hello got an alien friend with sort of like a octopus head i suppose and uh, let's take a look at some of the effects here that we've got going on because first thing really nice lens flare effects uh, they're all kind of like soft filtered and then of course the fact that well the whole game sort of has this low res uh you know just general aesthetic to it uh, the characters although they're very minimalist actually have a surprising amount of detail in the places that count they actually do show off uh, some shadows that are dynamic as well as we've got colored lights with uh, reflectivity to them to a certain degree uh, there's actually you know some overflow of the light the neons actually sort of saturating into the colors around and uh, just in general just a really great presentation as well as some shadows and things that really do make things pop and you can get away with a lot of things uh, with a very low res aesthetic when you just sort of make a certain few little details stand out and in this case look we've actually got multiple light sources uh, that are actually making dynamic shadows so anyway let's keep walking very beautiful neon cityscape off in the distance there uh, of course our alien seems to have his hands out in front of him for some reason I guess just to give us sort of a feeling of placement and that was an elevator so we uh, come out on the other side I think we, can we go back yeah, if we choose, we can go anywhere we want at any time in this particular city. So just because we walk into a room doesn't mean that we can't turn around and change our mind later. Uh, we can also jump, but I don't think jumping really does a whole lot in general in this particular situation because uh, pretty much everything's designed to be walked into. So we've got sort of a nightclub and a bit of ambience here where there's all kinds of uh, wild aliens hanging out, taking in the evening... And I think we might as well go and have a look around in here. It's actually quite uh, buzzing. There's a, a lot of sense of, you know, like there's a bit of an alien culture happening here. I kind of feel like I'm more in an actual city than most, like, sort of going... Uh, the ones that go for more naturalism uh, tend to be able to pull off. So we can I guess, sit here if we want and have a drink. Can't really interact with things, unfortunately, but we can at least walk around and have a look actually sitting down so you know developer went so far as to make a few different states uh, for the characters unless uh, maybe they're just clipping through the chair I can't entirely tell is that actually that lens flare looks like it actually corresponds yeah with the actual lights that's really nice and they've got a little uh, cantina band here chilling out playing the drums and the guitar I suppose everybody's having a good time all right cool let's keep walking structures are very monolithic and massive and I think it really does serve us well that as you look off into the distance, everything is just blackness uh, because the building that's up above us just also fades into that same blackness. So it's sort of like the city is just this black hole sucking away all light except for all the neon. So it just makes for a really nice silhouette. And, uh, you know, much better uh, opportunity to take a look at that up here as well. So we've walked over. There's going to be a sky bridge, I suppose, and we've got some cars rushing past us. Flying cars, of course. And we can see some planets off in the distance, uh, some sort of Saturn ring type deal. Just trying to take in and see if there's anything in particular that I can see that's like a special detail. Oh, we can see up above us there, sort of a dock of some kind, maybe people watching the sky bridge, monitoring, make sure everything is going okay. You know, the cars go off of their invisible rails. And if you're wondering, you can't actually fall off of this. Not that I necessarily wanted to, but I do like to test those types of things. There's also a grain filter that's happening. I don't know if you can entirely tell. Uh, well, I guess it's a little iffy if it's an actual filter or not, but it does seem like there's some added textural effects happening to everything. It seems like they kind of pop in and out as you move. 
because right, they're not actually stuck on the textures. If you watch, like, look for one particular pixel that looks especially bright, and every time I move my viewpoint, just even the tiniest little bit, those pixels all move around. Hopefully the grain is uh, it's large enough that it'll actually show up on YouTube, because I know everything gets a little bit dithered and blurry once things actually get uploaded, as well as tend to be darker. Uh, but, you know, I should be able to adjust that in post-production. So we've got another elevator here. We're going to take that. And what is this thing? We've got floating sphere that's very kind of creepy maybe you could do a little lightsaber training or something with that obviously there are some star wars uh references here i imagine things feel very much star warsy i think that was even mentioned in the readme and i guess we'll just keep going really very unified sense of presentation too everything feels like it's very much part of the same city what's going on with the floor here is this actually Oh, it's just the lighting, isn't it? I guess these light sources are casting lights and such, but it looks sort of round on the ground. Is this... Okay, so another elevator here. And where does this bring me? It's like another club area, I suppose. There is no actual goal to this, in case you're wondering. There isn't necessarily, like, an end game or an end state. Uh, we just walk until we have had enough of the exploration, or we've seen everything there is to see, I suppose. I feel like it's actually a pretty large city. There's actually quite a few things to see. This looks like a subway system. And what are you doing over here? Are you a busker or something? You're gonna play? Oh, there's just somebody on his phone. Is it her phone? Uh, what is this? Can I fall in this hole? Wow. All right, well, this is not a trap you'd necessarily want to run into. Oh. I fell out of a vent shaft, and I guess now I'm back where I was. Huh. Alright, so that's the first little bar area that I found. It's nice that the doors are also color-coded, so it's a little bit easier not to get completely lost in five seconds. This is a really cool atmospheric experience. I can't say that I've necessarily seen one with quite as much attention to detail as this in a recent memory, and it's got that sort of... There was a, a game I played with uh, pyramids and things that it, it had this very, like, I think it was from the low-res jam, so it was super, super low-res. This one's a little bit higher-res than that one, but it does a really nice job of, like, hiding some details in a way that make things look way more detailed than they actually are. Even got little ceiling lights and everything. And you would kind of buy this premise, too, because, well, sci-fi environments often are this stark. So it doesn't seem like you're dramatically missing out on details or that the geometry looks too sparse or anything. I also found in my quick little play before, and by the way, really cool lighting on the ceiling there. I'm not quite sure how that happened, but I like it. Uh, apparently you can like fall through this floor. Yeah, all right. I guess that was intended. See, when I did it the other time, I just jumped into the ball and I kind of clipped through it and I was looking in such a direction that I didn't actually notice that the floor opened up. So we'll walk around here for a bit. And you hear some kind of a water sound off in the distance, right? What might that be? The answers might shock you. Stay tuned. So we go through the series of vent shafts, and we come up to an alien urinal station, and there's just uh, an alien doing his business over here. Not quite sure uh, why I need to call them aliens, considering we're all... Now, strange in a way. Uh, I guess we could just keep going, but like, what's up with the bathroom in this place that no one would ever get to? It's just maybe an Easter egg, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, I definitely wouldn't expect anybody to have to make a leap like that. Although I guess if you were in a position where falling infinitely wouldn't necessarily hurt anyone, maybe the geometry and way that you would design a city might be very different, I'm not sure. Hello? Uh, apparently the... Adults from Peanuts inhabit the media station here. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Just thought I could go into that light. Where's this gonna take me? Whoa. Oh my goodness. That is scary. Freaking cars everywhere. Sweet lighting effects, though. Alright, so we'll keep going. Wow. Okay, so we've got some gigantic structure here. Now I'm starting to get, like, a Death Star feel from this whole thing. We're wandering through the city of the Empire, I suppose. And more cool lighting effects and very minimal geometry that really does get the job done. Like, I mean, what would even be the point of that? I'm not entirely sure, but it sort of looks like there is something. Oh, we've got a little aquarium to visit. It's pretty cool. 
Even the fish sort of look like the inhabitants of the city. Continuing on. Oh, big scary hallway. This one looks important. They saw fit to put lights just under these beams just to make sure that the shadows get projected onto the ceiling. Am, am I going to meet with Emperor Palpatine or something? It's going to happen. be pretty wild if something like this was procedurally generated too. Like every time you play it, you find a different area or like a different part of the city or go to a different district. Or maybe it could be like a whole MMO thing where like everybody's mapping the city in their own time. Oh, is this like a movie theater or production or something? My goodness, this is an expansive and awesome place. Not entirely sure what's going on here. Can I jump on stage and be part of the show? No. Just a little bit of a hint of texturing on this floor too, which you haven't seen much of. Pretty much everything's been flat. Oh, I guess this is some sort of performance art dance design thing. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, maybe we'll go to one more room. Oh my goodness, what's going on in here? Trumpet solos. There's like all kinds of arts things happening in this particular... Maybe we're like walking through a college campus or something. Very, very cool. Well, I think I'm going to stop at this point just because I don't want to spoil the entire city. Maybe I'm getting close to the end. I'm not entirely sure, but I do like what I've seen. This is Burn Band. Feel free to go ahead and grab this. It is free to download. I will have a link for you right in the description. Very, very cool. I think you guys will hopefully like it, and if you would uh, kindly let me know what you think in the comments, I would greatly appreciate it. Look how colorful that is. That is so pretty. Anyway, that's going to be it for another day, guys. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. I really appreciate you watching and being here. And as always, new episodes of Indie Impressions go up every single day. So I look forward to bringing you another one tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll have a fantastic night. Talk to you later.